All right, boys, the kids wanted breakfast, so we're gonna do some scrambled eggs here and bacon. Throw some toast in there and we'll be good to go. All right, Lawn Monsters, we're gonna enjoy a real quick breakfast. If you notice, TQ's not down there at the end. She had a cleaning job to get done this morning. Hot! <laughs> I did just cook it there, babe. What's up, Lawn Monsters? How's everybody doing on this beautiful Sunday morning? What's up, everyone? It's well, kind of gloomy, but... Yeah, I was going to say, it's not really beautiful, yeah. but hey, we're alive. The, you know, the sun's somewhere up there. And... I did see the sun a little bit when I left the house this morning. Yeah, but... it's, it's nowhere to be seen now. It's gone. But anyways, guys, what are we going to get into today, TQ? We are going to switch out my trimmer head for the speed feed head and give the right an oil change. All right, TQ, so what's the first thing you need to do? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I guess it, read the instructions. No, no, no. Oh. So I've done these in the past, guys. It has been a minute. But basically, we got to get the old head off here first. Uh, we got to stick the little bar down in here, and then we're going to spin off the head, and that'll get us to the internals, and then we'll go from there. Wow, that actually went in. I thought we were going to have to spray yeah. it out. That's crazy. Now, to spin the head till it locks in, TQ, you'll feel it drop down in a little okay. more. Did it lock in? Yeah. All right, now uh, go ahead and counterclockwise, I believe it was, the last time I did it. You just kind of got to get into it, TQ. Get into it. Yes, there you go. Heck yeah. Spin her on off there. Oh. There it goes. There she be. All right, go ahead and show them what it looks like. Show them what it looks like. So we're going to need this piece back. Go ahead and open that one up there, TQ. This is the Speed Feed 400, boys. All right, Monster, so TQ's got everything open up here that we're going to need, and it's fairly simple, guys. All you have to do is just swap out some internals, right, TQ? Yeah, you got to take out the old one. The old still threads in there, guys. You got to push them out. So then this is pretty much just going to be set off to the side. Then you take your brand new 400, Take the internals out of it, okay. turn it around there. So basically, you just have to put in the steel one that comes with it into your new echo head here. Just basically makes it so the threads will match up with it. And you're going to put it all back together. Good. Can we see it? Uh, we're gonna need the guard, right? Yep. Nice. Uh, yep. There you go. That. Nope. Other way. Other That's way? just basically a dust cover. It keeps everything okay. from going inside there. And then this here. Yep. That. Or hold on. We need the spacer, right there. And then this. Yep. Then your cover. Yeah. Then you're just gonna spin it for now, guys, until it starts snugging up, and then you're gonna have to put your tool back in there. Gonna reinsert that tool back down in there, spin it. See how she's spinning the head till it locks into place? And now you just hand tighten it, guys. You want it to be snug, though. You don't want this thing coming flying off. So TQ is gonna go ahead and measure out her trimmer line length she needs. The Speed Feed 400 holds roughly 20 feet of .95 string. She's roughly five inch uh, width there between her hands. So she's going to go four times, and that'll give her roughly 20 feet. Roughly. And what's really nice, guys, I'll let TQ go ahead and cut that real fast, and I'm going to show you on these speed feed heads. But if you notice, I don't know if you can pick it up in the camera here. See that little arrow? See how there's an arrow in there pointing right here? And then there's another one over here pointing here. That's basically your reference point, guys, to line this up. And then if you can look through there... Now you just basically have a straight pass through to feed your line straight through. There it is. And then you want to pull it out till it's even on each side, fellas. So she's got it about even there. Then you're just going to come in here, and it's real quick. You're just going to come on this side, TQ. It's going to be a lot easier on this side. Then put your hand up here and hold this. It's just, it's just like a ratchet. And then you're just going to spin, twist, spin, twist. 
Well, you'll have to find out what's easier for you. It's a lot easier when the trimmer's standing up also. There you go. There you go. Now you're getting it down. So you don't have to keep taking your hand off of it. Yeah. It's just like a ratchet, guys. Just click, 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 click. See how she's not removing her bottom hand? She's just kind of spinning the top one. Honestly, guys, on a good day, I can probably restring this up in 25, 30 seconds tops, probably. Super fast, way more efficient. Is this enough string? <laughs> yeah. Without the guard on, it is, definitely. And you'll feel it. It'll start to get tight a little bit. And then also, real quick while we're here, guys will say, uh, you know, what if you have too much string that shoots out? Well, you just stop real quick, guys, and ratchet it back in real fast. If you happen to bump it and you accidentally shoot out more line than you want, just stop real quick and tighten it back in, and you're yeah, good to go. You don't. I find myself cutting the tips off with the other one. Yeah, well, you have no option with yeah. the other one unless you take it all the way apart and restring it up. You know, with the old head, you have to take it back apart and completely restring it back together. But just look here, guys. I, I seriously, a lot of people get overwhelmed by this process because there's a lot of things that are just extra. But these are just for different string uh, string trimmers. You have a lot of extra stuff that's laying around that you're not going to use, a lot of brand new stuff. But I always hold on to it because you never know if you're going to go pick up a, a Red Max trimmer or if you're going to pick up a Husqvarna trimmer or, you know, whatever you're going to pick up. So you're going to need these adapters if you want to, you know, throw a different head onto a different trimmer. But, uh, yeah, good job, TQ. She's ready to rock and roll now. So TQ is going to go ahead and fire it up. We want to show you guys. She's going to bump it here real fast just so you can see. And you want to do this to check it. Okay. All right. See, she got length on it. The string didn't pull in tighter. Now you have to remember there is a curved shaft and a straight shaft version to the internal parts of this here. So basically, got it there, TQ? Yep. Basically, guys, if you bump it and it pulls your string in instead of coming out, that plastic internal piece there that we put the nut in, you have to flip that over because that's for the curve shaft, okay? All right, fellas, so we're going to do a oil change here on the 37 horsepower Briggs & Stratton, the Vanguard. I'm not sure if TQ can see it or not. It's kind of hard, but there's a, a metal just nipple sticking out here. Well, this is right here you untighten to let the oil out. But on the bottom side of this, you have to run this rubber hose that comes with it up and there's a nipple on the bottom and that's where it's going to drain from. You, it's kind of hard to get to, but you just want to make sure that hose all the way up on there. Let's take off the oil cap. I'm going to go ahead and pull the dipstick. So we'll drain it into the jug here and then we'll take it to our local auto parts store and they'll recycle it or reuse it or whatever they do with it. Basically right there, guys, you're going to see me just line it up there. Then you're just going to snap it loose just real quick. It shouldn't be super tight. And then you're going to start noticing the oil coming down here in just a minute. You don't want to take this all the way out though because if you do, oil is going to come. See the oil running down here, TQ? Mm -hmm. You take that nut all the way out, that bolt all the way out, you're, uh, you're going to get oil to come down that. monsters so we got quite a bit out here of the oil i'm going to go ahead and at least loosen up the oil filter to see if we can get some more flow uh, all the oil is out that we can possibly get out i did go ahead and level the mower out with the jack here uh, just to get the engine level so i knew all the oil was out of it because we're on kind of a slope here going down the driveway so we got all that out uh, another thing we are using are these uh, basically like oil fuel they can absorb all kinds of stuff guys and they hold a lot so if you spill any oil these mats are awesome so the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and just tighten that bolt back up in here now this is where this mat comes really in handy I'm gonna slide it up under here so when i pull this hose off we don't get too much oil on the driveway here pull that hose down it out here real quick boom set it on there all right monster so the next thing you want to do real quick is just record your hours onto the top of your oil filter simple enough guys 131 hours 
So now you just want to take your filter. You never want to start a filter dry, boys. So make sure you're putting some oil in there. You ain't got to fill it up, but you want to get some in there. Get a little on your finger and just kind of lube up your seal there. Simple enough is just screwing it on. So the last thing left to do, boys, is just go ahead and put the oil back in. Gonna do a real quick oil check but sometimes you don't get all that oil out so you want to make sure you're not completely overflowing your engine remember this is brand new oil so you're gonna have to look real close so we're still we're getting there we're getting there we can probably put all three in Right there, boys. We're good to go. Perfectly topped off. All right, boys. Tighten it up. Do a little wiping off. All right, Lawn Monster. So after the oil change is done, see it still says engine now. Basically, it's just telling you get your oil changed. So this little gray button here, you should just have to hold it in. Kind of see it flashing over there. Boom. And there you have it, boys. You just hold it in. It'll clear out, and then it'll say in 100 hours to do an oil change. Go ahead and click it again. You can get it back to your normal hours, and you're good to go. Go ahead and fire it up. it low idle for a while let it recycle get all that oil back into the engine all right lawn monster so i hope you enjoyed the video tq did a great job changing out the speed feed head and got an oil change done on the zk these are all great things that can save you guys money you don't have to take it to the dealer and pay them their hourly fee so as always keep mowing keep growing keep making money boys we'll talk to you later tq out peace